What's up, guys? This is Josh with Rhino TV. Um, so, not that long ago, we came out with Simply Rhino. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been able to make a video yet, so that's what I'm going to attempt to do right now. So, here we go. It's going to look a little different because it's on my phone, but it looks like that's going to be the best way to do it. All right. So, as you see, this is kind of your standard launcher that most of you are familiar with. Okay, a different background and all that stuff, just because, like I said, it's on my phone. So we're going to go ahead and launch Simply Rhino TV. Okay, and the reason I'm going to show you this video is because the first time you run it, there's actually some things that we could not do uh, through editing the, the app and so on um, to set it up for you. So it's got to do a little legwork yourself, unfortunately. But when you pop it up, it's going to look like this. Actually, first time you open it, it's going to have a username and password. Go ahead, enter your username and password. If you enter it correctly, um, you'll know right away because the channels uh, won't show up at all. So, as you see on the left-hand side, there's uh, the beginning of our channel list. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'm going to do the best I can here because I do not have a controller. I'm going to be using the phone. Uh, so, first off, on your controller, you will hit the menu button. should pop up with that screen there. Go ahead and hit main menu then. And then all the way to the right, you'll see the settings icon. Go ahead and select that. The first section is general. Go ahead and select that. And you will go down, scroll down to EPG1. When you select EPG1, it'll pop up with this screen here. Okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to, on yours, it will actually highlight with a keyboard. You can hit the back button to get rid of the keyboard, mm -hmm. but then use the direction uh, or the D-pad to highlight that second arrow right above the OK button. Okay. And the feature or the option you want to select is download to each update. And you hit OK. Okay. Go ahead and hit the back button. And the next place you're going to go into is the GUI. The GUI, really, all you have to do is enter it and exit it. Okay, the reason why is because, for some reason, we do have it edited, as you can see, as show channel groups as folders, but it does not work unless you go into the section and instantly back out of the section for some reason. So go ahead and hit back. You'll hit back again. As you see in the top right hand corner, it is saying playlist is updating. Okay, now on the D-pad of your controller after it updates, go ahead and hit the left button on the D-pad. Okay, and then you will see your groups are now folders. Okay, now if you want all the channels, all the groups, you don't really have to do this next step here, but if you do want to edit stuff, including like hide the adult channels and all the foreign channels and so on, what you would do again is that you hit menu, hit main menu, back to settings, and this time go into advanced. Okay, in advance you'll see one, two, three, four down is groups management mode. Go ahead, highlight with your controller and hit OK. Okay, now you see it's selected. You go ahead and hit back twice. Okay, and now that you will see, again, the groups on the left. So now you highlight whatever channels you want to hide. So you scroll, highlight the channel. So let's go to Arabic. Okay. Didn't mean to do that on my phone, sorry. Hit the menu button. And as you see on the bottom, it says hide group. Now, just a little tip to make it a little bit faster. You do not have to scroll down five or six times to hide the group. You can actually just hit on the up part of the D-pad and it'll go to the hide group and you hit OK. And now you'll see a little trash can uh, besides Arabic. So we're going to do this with, you know, oops, with a couple here. So cricket will hide, uh, Australian will hide, Canada, doo -doo -doo. Canada sports. Caribbean and again you don't have to do it to all the channels whichever ones you're going to watch obviously you're not going to hide so Spanish doo, doo, doo. and again I know this might seem um, I don't want to say overwhelming but you get my point um, but you only have to do this the first time really on the app and again that's if you want to edit these groups 
do do do. Polish. Okay. India adults. Okay, once you're done with that, hit the menu button one more time. Main menu, settings, hit advanced again, and go ahead and unselect groups management mode. So we are going to go ahead and hit back twice. Okay, because let's see here. And as you see, oh, it's already updated. As you see, those channels that we just trashed, they're no longer there. And whatever you hide, you can actually go back into groups management mode, select it again, and it will show the groups, all the groups again, the ones that are hidden again with the trash cans by them. And then instead of hide group, you would hit menu and then unhide. Okay, the next thing that you're going to want to do is hit menu again. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Show EBG. Okay, for some reason this is not working the way it's supposed to. Give me one second, sorry. Make sure I got it right. Groups made it on. Okay, I think I might have accidentally selected something I shouldn't have before. Let's try it now. There it goes. Okay. Again, uh, what I just did, I accidentally, when, when, I, when I selected, since this is a touchscreen phone, when I unselected groups management mode, I must have hit channels management mode. So it wasn't letting me doing it. So you won't have to go through what I just did there. So after you're done, go ahead, hit the menu again. This time, you choose option Show EPG and also Preview, okay? On my phone, it's actually, once I hit something, it's going to make the screen go away. Uh, you can do both uh, with your controller at one time. So now you see the guide. You see the channels on the left. I'm going to go ahead and select the channel here. Just look at a man hunt. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, as you see, it's playing. Um, to select the channel, all you do is highlight, highlight it and hit OK. To go back to your guide, you'll hit OK again. As you see, the guide's popped up. And you'll see now in the lower left-hand corner, you have a preview channel. And as long as you keep going down the channels, uh, as long as the guide's working properly. Oh, there it goes. Uh, it'll have a description in the lower-hand corner. This is just more of your traditional uh, TV uh, experience um, and if of course if you want to switch groups let's say you want to go see what's on the NFL you could just hit the left icon again, or I'm sorry not the left icon the left uh, part or d-pad on your controller and it brings up all your groups you highlight whatever you want to watch let's go to NFL okay and then you just can easily switch the groups that way now I don't think there's any NFL games going on right now, so there's really nothing to watch. Um, but that's basically it on the regular setup. Now, you can change the themes too, okay? Uh, to change the theme of the app. Uh, right now, I think I have it on Abstract, which is my personal favorite. But you go hit Main Menu. Or, I'm sorry, the Menu button on your controller. Select Main Menu. Settings. Go under GUI. You'll see it's the second one down. You go ahead, highlight it, select theme. The default theme, I think it looks like a family or a living room with a TV in it. Uh, we're on abstract right now. There's one of the beach, if you like the beach. Uh, there's one of a guy drinking a beer on the moon, I think, is what the space one is. And then I created the snow one for Christmas time. So we're going to go ahead and select snow. Um, I always change the transparency to 4. That just means you can still see the background through the TV guide. But again, that's a personal preference. Now, you will get a message in the top right-hand corner that says need to restart. So the theme will not go into effect until you get out of the app. To exit out of the app, you hit the back button twice. Okay, hit exit. And now you're out. So go ahead and hit Simply Rhino again. And there you go. There's the snow theme. Okay, um, basically, 
if you are happy with the regular Rhino app that we have, you do not have to switch. Um, we are going to keep supporting it as long as we can. Um, this app I personally did not make. I did edit it. Um, but the app is actually called Perfect Player. Um, the gentleman who made this app has been doing it for a very long time. Um, and has quite a bit of experience, obviously. And it just works very well. Um, ooh, Miracle. One of my favorite movies. So... Basically, guys, um, again, it's just another option out there. Um, the only downside I would say with this app is favorites. You can't really tag favorites in any kind of great way. However, instead of having to scroll through all the way down to, you know, the T's if you want to watch TNT or so on, uh, when you go into a group, you can actually hit up on your D-pad and it's going to go the opposite way. So you'll go by the end of the alphabet. So it doesn't take that long to actually to go through the guide on this one once you get familiar with it so all right guys well that's it on simply rhino if you have any questions you can obviously ask us anything in the support group or you can submit a ticket to on their website uh just so everyone knows we will be closed obviously on christmas day um christmas eve you know most likely i'm not going to be taking uh many messages or anything or really selling much uh you can always put orders in on the website you just probably won't get anything back uh right away on tickets or support through facebook we will be checking those even though you know it's christmas eve or christmas because obviously we don't want anyone to go down without tv if something happens and you know we'll try to fix it when we can uh but we really don't see that happening you know knock on wood so all right, guys, if I don't talk to you before then, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, and this is Josh with Rhino TV. Talk to you guys later. Thank you.